G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode. So this week we're going to jump back into that aft cabin. We're going to weld up the bed frame. That's going to be the last big job to be done in that room before blast and paint. Uh, so that sort of finishes off an area hopefully. Uh, so I decided to make the bed frame out of steel because then I could um, panel it with some wood. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit more rigid and strengthens up that room a bit. So the other job I want to get into is the forward head. It's got a door frame that needs to be moved over 100 mil. Uh, it's going to allow for better access into that whole room. It's going to be just like a straight corridor instead of tapering off to one side. And it's going to make that uh, single bed just a little bit bigger, which will be nice. Uh, you don't want to be cramped up uh, while you're on the boat. So uh, yeah, we're going to get onto those two jobs and hopefully we'll fit in another one. Uh, we'll see how we go for time. So let's get to it. In the forward cabin here, we've got the doorway leading into the forward head. So we want to move this over. So the other thing is this looks like a bit of stainless steel. Uh, we might remove this and replace it with real steel. Um, it's not very well welded, so it's just got splatter everywhere. I don't know if it's even holding it on really. So it's all that splatter. So there's not one bit of good weld on there, except for the one I put up at the top here. Um, a good bead going across there. So I've got to cut this one out and I could probably just knock with this with a hammer and it might come off. Now it's the same with this panel. So if I step back a bit. So you can see that panel was over here and you can sort of see the archway uh, like the other doors. Um, so that yeah, that was basically cut out, flipped around, and and was on that side. And I, yeah, I agree. That's that's where we want the door. It's just a, not quite in the right spot. And whoever's welded this in, once again, it's the same spattering as what's going on there. There's not really any welds holding this together. So I might just take this whole panel back out, and when you get down here some massive gaps. So what I'll do oh, is take that whole panel out again. I'll straighten both of those cuts up so that when it goes back in there, it's, it's got a nice butt joint to weld. Um, but I'll remove that 100 mil off of this piece, which moves that whole piece the 100 mil that we want to go this way and I may not be able to put that piece back in there because it's been cut on a taper if I put it back over there we're not going to have a very square doorway so I might yes take that panel out um, and then straighten it up put that back but in the correct length and then I'll just buy a 100 mil plate um, and weld that 100 mil bar in um, because that's going to give us a perfectly straight line. Um, yeah, that panel's not quite right. It's some shocking workmanship, but that's what we're doing on the boat. We're fixing all this stuff up. And then I'll fully weld that. It's going to take a lot of welding wire, a lot of gas, but that's going to be where the, the head is. It's going to be water in there. Uh, we don't want that getting into this room, although that will have like waterproof lining and all that in there. Um, let's just weld it.
One of the best things I've found about bringing this wet bird down to the boat is having to cook my own lunches. Nothing like having a nice home cooked burger for your, for your half time break. Great burger. Lots of cheese, lots of beef.
All right, you may have noticed as uh, we were going through all that work, uh, I went on a bit of a tangent. I got a bit carried away with this room and just thought I needed to keep progressing so I could figure out what's gonna happen with this door. So as you notice, I've popped that panel back in. Uh, I've actually tack welded it in properly, not like those other ones I showed you. And the door may stay in that position. I've popped this, uh, this is gonna be where the single bed is. Um, it's up a lot higher than the double bed side, but um, yeah, that's gonna be great for storage and it uh, gives it plenty of leg room, not like it was gonna be if we put it down where the bunk bed was gonna be. I even put the floor rails in, that's all finally welded in. Uh, we can walk up and down there really nicely now. And I've tack welded this double queen size bed um, in. So it's, it's gonna be nice and wide. I ran out of steel, I need to put another beam in going across there, because once the boards are over the top, it'll just uh, flex in that back corner. But we're gonna have gas lift um, storage underneath so the, the top can lift up. This is all the steel that I was going to use for the aft bed frame that we were going to do this week but I figured I needed to put all this in so I knew where that door was going to go. But on a good note that this room if we're happy with it, all these layouts is basically done. I just have to, I've only tacked welding on it so I'll have to go on and finish welding everything. But yeah, one bed height there, one bed height there, both gas lifts up and the floor is in. And that's really all that's gonna happen in this room. It's just mainly storage. There's a seat up for the aft toilet in here, but that's all that's happening in this room. So that's basically this room done, which is nice, but um, I'll have to bring the wife down, uh, show her how it all looks before we weld everything up. So another part we were worried about in this uh, forward head is that the bench would be in a pretty bad position with the door over this far. We were thinking about moving it over, give us more bench space. So I've knocked up this bit of a timber one. It's just wedged in there, but it seems that that will be actually in a decent spot. So if I was here, I'd be able to walk all the way up. So I'm just about touching it. Wash your hands. Maybe it could be a little bit higher, but we've got kids, so it's probably a decent height. Reach back, grab a toothbrush. Might be a cabinet here with some shelves. I can look out the window, which is great. Um, we've got the cupboards that we can pull open underneath. So that's it's pretty good. And if we want the sink out further, we can get one of those sinks that come out a little bit. Um, so I think that might be all right where it is. And the door will open up nice and miss everything. So yeah, everything seems to be looking like it uh, is going to line up very nicely. So we'll just um, yeah have to get the second opinion by my boss and see how we go. All right, so I didn't get any of the jobs done that I was hoping to, but we did get a lot of progress done in that forward cabin. We've got all, both beds done, the flooring is down. So it was a good uh, week in the end. Um, so yeah, let us know what you guys thought. Uh, hit, hit the like down below and um, comment if you can. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next week. Thanks guys.